Okay, guys, welcome back to another episode on Everyday Upland. Well, today we're here to talk about, I was going to talk about something else, but when I log, logged on to Upland today, I saw this, the fire drill. Okay, let me, let me add it. Oh, did I add it? Okay, there we go. 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 Did you see it? Hold on. Did I do it correct today? Remove, remove. Okay, it should be here. It should be here. Where is it? Sorry. Here we go. This right here. Here we go. There's a fire drill going on in Upland. Know what this means? An opportunity to earn spark. One. An opportunity to win some Upics. Up to 50,000 Upics. Upland's willing to give away if you participate and you help them fix their issues. So if you're just coming into the game, you have a huge opportunity right now to get some free epics and possibly a full spark. And a full spark can do a lot, can build a lot of structures. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, go to my previous video and you hear me talking about how important spark is to build structures in Upland and what you need to get to start doing that. So let's get to this fire drill that they're having. So for the past, how many openings have I been through? Probably about three or four, three. At Alameda, LA, and Detroit. So three, right? Three openings I've been in where I've gone to this new city I get in the city, and rem remember, I'm at work, and conveniently for me, every time Upland opens a new city, my mobile data is already maxed out. So the first time when Alameda was opening up, and uh, Berkeley, North Berkeley, I think it was, you know, I was just like, oh, you know what, this is my fault, my phone, my data... I tried to get free Wi-Fi. I still had to, still had some issues, but they were still having issues, even though my data. So I really said, "Okay, that's my fault." LA opening again. Oh man, same problem. Some people were locked off for like 20, 30 minutes in this thing, and it was just like, "Okay, this is bad." Well. I'm sure Detroit, the Detroit opening pissed a lot of people off. I'm speculating. I don't know for a fact. I'm trying to get my friends into this game and not one of them wants to listen to me, but it's all good. Or they're in the game and don't really want to play that much because they don't understand it or they don't have the time. They won't make the time for it, but that's fine. Whatever. But when you got, when you got into the Detroit opening, I was just like, oh my God. Why is this happening again? The struggle continues. So I did a little bit of research to figure out what blockchain um, Upland is using. So I, I come to the realization that they're using the EOS blockchain. You may not be too familiar with that. Um, if you've been around in the crypto market since around 2017, 2016, 2017, I think it's around 2017, um, EOS at that time was quite popular. It went from a dollar something. I own some myself. It went from a dollar something all the way up to um, $20. And then something happened with the whole group and the founder. He went off and made something else. Another, uh, if you've heard of Steam It, he's the same Dan Latimer, I think his name was. I can't remember his name too correctly right now. But he went off and made something else, and something happened, and then it just it just dropped, and then it just kind of went into the shadows. So when I started playing Upland, and I realized that it was I realized from before, but I had to do a little bit more research now. But um, five five six months ago, right, I realized it was on the EOS blockchain. But I just said, oh okay, because it does say that when you click on like uh, I think the titles your title of your property so i was like oh, okay all right eos you know i haven't heard heard of that blockchain or that crypto in a very long time but you know i know that was one of the it was like the ethereum of today eos that was the talk 
EOS was going to be the next big thing, and then it just kind of just disappeared. Not necessarily disappeared, but it just went under the radar totally. You don't really hear about it. So when Upland was putting on there, I said, okay, that's not that's not so bad. I remember at the time, their um, transaction speed weren't so bad. So I did a little bit of research just before I came on and see um, how many transactions per second EOS is able to do. And I kind of got some mixed numbers. Like one, I did a Google search. One Google search is saying 2,800. Another one, which is blocked, chain counts the same 4,000. So it's somewhere in between there that they're able to do transactions per second. So how does it affect us in the EOS game? I'm sorry, in Upland is that every time you purchase a property, right? If 4,000 pe- 4, people hit that buy button at the same time, it should take approximately half a second. I understand why in Upland, they have um, the whole celebration thing to kind of slow down the whole process. And it takes a while for it to be registered on the blockchain, which is all fine for it to take that time to be registered on the blockchain. Because it doesn't matter. It doesn't really affect the game because you still can move on. But I think the speed at which people are purchasing properties in Upland is really and truly slowing. That's where they're having their major issues. So they're hoping to, that this fire drill that they're having will be able to help them to solve some of these issues. I don't know if it's the game or if it's a blockchain they're using. Um, like I said, I got two different numbers, 2,800 per second and 4,000 per second. So I don't know which one it is. Um, I would, I guess I'd have to go on the EOS website to see um, what it is, but I looked on the blockchain council website and it showed a list of all the, the top transaction um, per second cryptocurrencies that are out there. And EOS was at the top. So, but it showed other ones. I don't understand. I didn't really go through it. But like I said, EOS was at the top, right? It was the second one actually on the list. So I was just like, oh, okay. So maybe it's the game. But let's get into this fire drill now. So... As you can see here, right, it's Upland Fire Drill. So what you guys need to do is get in and participate. So I'm already in Detroit, and one of the properties, let me check quickly, um, the areas that you the sale will be held. Let me scroll down. Um, here it is, the Fire Drill. Internet's kind of slow. Okay, is Warrendale. I kind of did a quick look around Warrendale, and I'm not a new player in the game, so I'm just thinking, based on what I read throughout this whole thing, like, how's that going to work for me? Because in here, a part of the fire drill, which is the main part, I feel, of this... um issue that they're having is the minting. So they're having a minting challenge and a treasure challenge, treasure collection challenge, right? Which is you go around and you hunt and you try and find treasures. And within these treasures, you'll get like, they, they boost the, up the rewards in the treasure hunt, which I'm going to take part in. I don't know if I can do anything with when it comes to the minting challenge, but I think that's where the big issue is. So in Warrendale, Detroit, um, Upland says there's a lot of unminted properties there, and they they want to get some of these properties minted out. So it's a perfect opportunity for them to do the fire drill in these in these properties. And as you see here, see right here, one spark, and it should say up to fifty thousand upix. Because further down in this in this um this um release here, it gives you an explanation of uh you know, from fifth place up to first place. Fifth place obviously gets 10,000 and so on and so forth. So this takes place tomorrow at 9 a.m. Pacific time, right? That's when it begins. And every five minutes, 
there will be a new um oh sorry that's what the treasure hunts every five minutes there will be a new treasure new 50 treasures will be dropped in this in this neighborhood for you to hunt so there's a lot of treasures available and a lot of hunting. And I get the reason why they're doing 50 at a time because you can't have one and two. It'll be, it'll be, it'll be too congested, one, with the amount of people that are going to be in the game or participating. And I hope you guys participate, which is something I always promote. Participate to earn in this game. You can earn Spark and Upix. So, yeah, so at 9 a.m. Pacific time, right, you will be able to start then the fire drill starts. Okay. So the treasure hunt will start. Um the minting will start. Everything will start. It's a stress test. So they've got to try and fix these issues because I'm thinking a lot of players, I've seen it and heard it in other videos that are talking about how much difficulties they're having with um with the opening of cities which is what this is all about so you guys whichever city you're in if you're in la nashville kansas city or detroit don't go anywhere tomorrow is a day to make some money some upics and get some sparks so you can build some properties and yeah so um, okay, so minting giveaway. Okay, each property minted in the select neighborhood earns five entries into the giveaway up to a maximum of 15. So you can mint three properties, right? Each, uh, each send to a property within a select neighborhood earns one entry in the giveaway and a max of five entries. Qualifying mints and sends must occur between 9 a.m. and 9.45. So you have 45 minutes to just go all over, try and mint, send your player everywhere, okay? And try and find properties to mint. So here are the grand prizes down here. So grand prize is the full spark. Fifth place get uh, 0 0.2. Fourth place get 0 0.4. Third place get 0 0.6. Six and second place get 0 0.8 spark. So, and obviously the grand prize, one full spark. All right. So it's 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 not gonna cost you anything other than your time, and it's only 45 minutes. And then I hope <laughs> the issues don't occur during the stress test. Because you know what happens is that they put they 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 do these stress tests. You go in your Discord or you sign. Make sure you sign up too as well. I, I haven't really promoted this, but I've mentioned it. But find Upland in the Discord. Okay, guys? Find Upland in the Discord. Because if you're in the Discord, you'll know whenever they have their maintenance or the game goes down, they'll let you know in the Discord what's going on and what you need to do. So... Yeah, you need to join Discord because if if these issues continue during the stress test, you need to be in the Discord to know when things are back up and running. Because what what I've noticed and what's happened so far is whenever the city openings happen and they shut everything down and they go into stress test mode or or they go into oh we're gonna fix these issues, you could be on this game till about eleven o'clock sometimes. Because they'll say, okay, we're opening back in five minutes and 10 minutes past. And then they'll say, yes, okay, we'll open it now. All right. And then they open it for about a minute. And then your 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 block explorer, the property that you clicked on, starts spinning and spinning. If you guys remember BlackBerry, and I'm sure a lot of people had BlackBerry, when the BlackBerry was no good anymore, right? And you clicked on something and the, the clock was just like this. Well, that's what happens in Upland when there's issues and like i said that's what they're trying to solve so <laughs> so this fire drill here is something to try and fix these issues so the more people that participate the better it is for the whole entire community i know i will make the time tomorrow while i'm at work please hope nobody from my work is watching this to get in this game and hopefully help out 
and see if one, if I can get some spark, right? Two, win up to 50,000 upics in the game. That would be a huge boost to me. Um, that would be amazing because the minute I get that, I'm dumping it right back in the game and to buy a ton of properties with that. So let's go to the treasury giveaways, okay? So each treasury claimed in the select neighborhood earns five entry in the giveaway up to a max of 15, okay? So you got to get at least three treasures and you'll get 15 entries to win the Upex, okay? Each send to a property within the select neighborhood earns one entry into the giveaway up to the max of five entries. Qualifying treasure claims sends and sends must occur between 9 a.m. and 9.45. So you're going to be you're going to be minting properties all in between that time and you're going to be doing treasure hunts all in between that time. So it's going to be a lot going on. And this makes sense because the more they overload their platform, their game, they'll know, OK, this is what we got to fix. That's what we got to fix. And hopefully, hopefully right they can actually fix these issues right where oh didn't i click on this already oh that's why ah oh, okay yeah so sorry guys i messed up i just realized that i didn't do it correctly it opens a new tab every time i go into the upland um i click on the uh, learn more button it opens a brand new tab and i didn't set up my life correctly to do that but you know what i may have to just do this again uh, i don't know but anyways hopefully you guys can can get some um something out of this i i screwed up big time <laughs> i was just so excited about this whole thing so i kind of did it wrong i didn't want to do it like this i actually wanted to just yeah so it didn't work how i wanted it to work but anyways guys this is gadget 914 i'm a little excited just rewatch. um i will talk about it tomorrow <laughs> or i may just do another live like another five minute one real quick to kind of go over everything i just said so if you guys watch this I'm sorry. Tune into the next live. It's coming up just now. All right. Thank you. I'll be right back. <laughs>